A question I get asked more than any other is where I see the Australian property market heading in the next 12 months or what I expect to happen with Australian property prices this year or next year. And the answer I provide is usually delivered in multiple parts. Firstly, there is no Australian property market. Although economists and journalists often refer to the Australian property market and predict what they think will happen with Australian property prices, the reality is that there is no such entity as the Australian property market. Secondly, what I expect to happen with prices depends on where, because we have so many different markets across the nation. And thirdly, real estate is very local in nature and the market activity and the price movements depend on the local economy which underpins the location's property market. So take a look at the price growth results amongst the eight capital cities for the past year and you'll note that we have had some boom growth, some moderate growth, some which have stagnated, and a few which have had falling prices. All those different scenarios occurred in just the eight capital cities, and there were similar variations occurring throughout all the regional markets. All those places sat within the same national economy, they all had the same situation with interest rates, and they were all operating under the one federal government. So why then, do we have all those different outcomes? The answer is because real estate is very local in nature. The greatest influence on them is the local economy, not the national one. So if you want to understand a particular property market, first you need to understand everything that's happening there in terms of the various local industry sectors, the infrastructure and other developments that are underway or in planning, and what's happening with local jobs creation. Once you can understand whether the local economy is weak or strong, growing or stagnant or contracting, then you can begin to determine what might happen with property prices in that location. For that reason, at Hot Spotting, we're always keenly interested in, in the quarterly report published by Comsec called the State of the States Report. Now this report uses a series of different metrics to rank the eight state and territory economies. And I found over many years that there is a correlation between the strength of the state or territory economies and the performance of the capital city property markets. The past three quarterly editions of the State of the States report have ranked South Australia, surprisingly perhaps for some, as the number one ranked economy in the nation. But it doesn't surprise the team at Hotspotting that South Australia would rank so highly for the past three editions of this report because we're very aware that the economy of Adelaide and South Australia is pumping strongly, helped by its status as the high-tech innovation capital of the nation and the leading state for alternative energy developments. And it also has a very big education sector, a major military economy and a lot more. Coinciding with the rise and rise of the South Australian economy has been the rise and rise of the Adelaide property market. In 2023, Adelaide was the number one or the number two market in Australia for house price growth, depending on whose statistics you believe, in competition with Perth. PropTrack's data showing the leading suburbs and towns in Australia for price growth in the four years since COVID arrived finds that the top five suburbs in the nation for price growth performance are all affordable suburbs in Adelaide. Now in the latest edition of the State of the State, the number two ranked economy was once again Western Australia and again there's a clear correlation between that reality and the performance of Perth as one of the leading boom property markets in the nation. Melbourne and Victoria now rank number three on economic performance according to the State of the State's report and this is one of several reasons why we believe that this market is poised for price growth in the next 12 months and beyond, coupled also with very strong population data and a significant program of big infrastructure projects. Consistently at the bottom of the Comset report rankings is the Northern Territory, and it does not surprise us that Darwin has the weakest house price performance of all the capital cities in the past 12 months. Other economies with lukewarm economic performance are Tasmania and the ACT, and this corresponds with the poor price performance of the Hobart and Canberra housing markets in the past year or so. So this report, freely available to anyone who's interested, is one that's worth following because read in conjunction with other data, it can provide clues about which price, where prices are likely to arise in the near future.